Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post and you join me here sat in my office with my team of three expert managers running Prodec, my very own computer company here in Computer Tycoon. We're just a, a little while after we finished the last episode in terms of game time. We're in March 1978. We're doing rather well. I'm earning over two million a day. Well, in the last day, I've earned over two million so my, my bank balance is looking very healthy indeed. So perhaps it is time to actually exploit that wealth and start expanding and pushing much more aggressively into the future. Largely because uh, of my eight opponents, not that one, this one, they're all still here, which is very annoying. I mean, we've only been in business for, th for four years, if that, yes, four years. <laughs> I remember I had a party, didn't I, at the end of the last episode, we had a little party. So yes, we've been here four years and I have 83%. I'm sort of hovering around that in, as I was in, in the last episode. Uh, but it'd be nice to actually get rid of at least one or two of my opponents in the fairly short term. It used to be Brutal Data, it used to be a, my main competition, but he's slipping behind at the moment. And it's currently, um, is that Afari or Forsha? And uh, somebody of Dator. Yeah, I did look them up. In fact, I've got them here. Yeah, Afari and, and Dator are my main competitors. But look at this. I mean, they released their machines at the back end of 1977. In fact, just days before I released my latest model, uh, which actually came out on the 30th of December. Oops, but I've called it the 78. Never mind, nobody will notice. And I have sold so many more. Talking about spending money, I want to do that. Now, one thing that I'm not spending a huge amount on, um, but I'm cautious of, is research. And we're currently doing reasonably well, but we've only got 4.6 research points running at the moment. I think we can afford to spend more, at least certainly while we're making this sort of money. Uh, we can thankfully reduce our expenditure on research, just like we can on factories and so on, uh, if we do start making less money or even losing it. So I think it's time to upgrade some of our research buildings here uh, and start really pushing ahead with new technology. All my research labs are currently at level one, but I'm thinking in my filthy rich countries here like Ireland and Kuwait, where I'll get another two research points. In fact, that will go up to 3.26 in, in Ireland. Is if I upgrade these, although they will cost me a lot more per day, because I can control that expenditure, I, I'm, I'm happy for that. While I'm making this amount of money, that would be good. So we've got those going. What I'd also like to do is because uh, our manufacturing capacity is so much more in excess of our demand, we could do with selling more computers. So I want to go into more countries. Uh, if, let's have a look at the world map before I set the game going. Yeah, you see Brutal Data, the red company, is in very few... Fa oh, in fact, I think the only place there in the lead, there the main supplier, is Eritrea which is not going to be very profitable. Oh, no, no, no. They've also got uh, Belize, which is a tiny country. Such a shame. Uh, I, I, you know, I don't like this little <laughs> outpost of the opposition here in South America. It's, uh, it's only a small country. But to do that, I've only got 0.5 of the logistics points left. So it would be nice, I think, to have more. So we need to upgrade our logistics offices as well. But I think I've got them all at the maximum at the moment. Uh, level three, level three. Yeah, going up another level is quite expensive. Nearly, an nearly another million a day. Well, nearly a million a day. So that's, that's over 700,000 more per day to go up to level four. I think it'd be cheaper then is to use some of my $900 million <laughs> to actually build new offices. Now, where was I looking for these? I had identified a couple of places uh, uh, after the last episode. Republic of China, also known as Taiwan. We could go here. You're a nice place for a factory, actually. A, act a nice place for a factory, actually. You are uh, quite a large population and also poor. So if we build that site, it's only five million. We will do that. We will build a logistics office, yes, we'll build marketing to help reduce our marketing costs and also build another office. Okay, that's good. Anywhere else we want to go? Um, 
I'm just wondering. I've got in my notes here, because I tend, I like to make notes, so I have some vague idea of what I'm doing. Uh, so what have we got here? Actually, I'm thinking of upgrading marketing levels, actually. So if we go to our building manager here, our marketing costs. Marketing costs are always higher, particularly as you sell to more people. But the running of a larger... Oh, these are only level, and most of them are only level two. So I could definitely increase the cost, the the, uh, the expenditure on these. Yes, yeah, so we'll build one in the USA. We'll build another big one in Peru. That will do. That will add another few percentage discount to my marketing costs, which are currently. Let's have a look at here. Uh, yeah, <laughs> four and a half million a day. Gosh. So an extra few percentage discounts on that would be very handy indeed. Okay, I think I'm ready to get the game rolling. I've got my buildings in our scheduled. So yeah, we're good with that. Ooh, looks like someone was fighting over Papua New Guinea. That's good. Your building upgrade has completed. Okay, so we have increased our buildings. So we're now getting 7.3 research points. Notice our profit has gone down to less than a million in the last day, which is okay. Which is okay. I've now got one and a half logistics points. Uh, so where can I spend those? Uh, that was in Taiwan, wasn't it? Actually, if we bump up Taiwan a bit further, so we'll add another logistics Upgrade there. Oh, I need to upgrade the office first. Yeah, I keep forgetting that. Thank you. And there. I will upgrade marketing while we're here as well. That is cool. Um, actually, I'm just wondering. I've got a note here about South Africa. Oh, we don't have an office there yet. Oh, we might as well build one there. Add more logistics, more marketing, and more office. Lovely. But where should we go? I want to go somewhere nice and big. So let's have a look at our market list. Uh, what should we go for? We'll go for country size. China. We can, can we actually go into China? No, not yet. It will open up in a year or so's time, I think. The, uh, the great opening to, of China to the world markets uh, happened yeah, about the end of 1979, I think, if I'm correct. Uh, unused. United Kingdom, Afghanistan, Sudan, Nepal, Uganda, the Netherlands, Ghana? Ghana? Yeah? Could go to Ghana. Where are you? There you are. Yeah, you see, loads of com loads of other companies are operating in Ghana and making a, r a fair amount of money. I'm about to put a stop to that. Uh, I will take you. And our sprite chip is coming closer to realisation. And at that point, I think I'll design a new computer. Could do with another one. I've taken Ghana. Excellent. And I'm back in a million profit to date. It looks like I can afford to build another or upgrade another uh, research office, doesn't it? So let's uh, get these back into order. Uh, so we've got level two in there. <clears throat> it's half a million in the USA. Unless I open another site in a very rich country, a filthy rich country. No, we'll, we'll, I'll do it here. We'll do it in the USA. I mean, research point per dollar, it isn't very efficient. Certainly not as efficient as a filthy rich country, Your but building you know. Upgrade has completed. Excellent. Oh, China. I can upgrade my logistics office here now. Build you. I'll upgrade the office office as well. Super. How's South Africa going? I'll add another research. You have researched a new technology. Thank you. Just build all those. Oh, I gotta wait. <laughs> Still gotta wait. I, I will remember one day that I have to build the office first. Okay, so we have two new sort of circuitry research technologies.
to hand, and that's the Isobus, uh, which we researched at the end of the last episode. There's the Isobus, we've got that, so that gives me a huge 50, 50 feature points, and also 40 quality points. Uh, actually, no, that's, uh, that's, yeah, that is quality points, I think. <laughs> so we've got the Isobus, which is a motherboard and video card technology. We also got the Sprite Accelerator, which gives us uh, a nice performance boost for our video cards. So let's have a look at upgrading those. So it's the motherboard. Uh, they're in the right order. That's fine. So we'll look at 77. We'll copy you. We'll call you 1978. And what we can do here is... Ooh, do I have to take one of these out? It looks like I do. Okay, so I'm taking out the old S100 bus, putting in the ISA bus. Uh, and we'll leave the SCSI in for the time being. And that gives me 160 feature points as opposed to 115. And our quality is bumped up significantly. Everything else I'll leave much the same. The cost has gone up slightly from 50.87 uh, production units to 51. I'm okay with that. Yeah, that's fine. Yes, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Just thinking. Yeah, the Isobus is there's not two technologies on the motherboard, but there are two technologies on the video card we can now take advantage of. So this is our 1978 GPU. Uh, so we'll take the S100 out, put the ISA in, we'll take the compositor chips out, and put the sprite accelerator in. Okay, and. We've already got a nice boost in performance, even without upgrading the base clock. So we, we could do that a little bit, I suppose. Can I do that a little bit? That is quite a bit more expensive. But you know what? I think we can cope with that. So we will create you. That's the job done. So our brand new computer will look like what? We'll take ProDeck 78.1. We will design a new version of this, which will be called the 78.2. And we've got no new accessories. I see everything else is much the same. Our GPU has been upgraded to that one. And our motherboard has been upgraded to that one. That's excellent. Yeah, everything is looking that much better. Pricing, we will keep it as 8,000. Actually, before we do that, check the operating system no that is the same one isn't it yeah with all our software on the utility and the new game our marketing man is looking for a new video game to add to our computers and he should come back in well, probably not many days actually so that's that the pricing is the same the marketing will keep the same have we learned anything new and important about marketing everything else yeah that all looks much the same I think we're ready to test it there it goes. The new computer model went into the testing phase. So we're getting that 8.3 research points and I'm still earning around a million a day. Oh, my percentage of the market share has dropped slightly. 83.24. Ooh, dear. Your building yes. upgrade has completed. Oh, we've now Your got... building upgrade has completed. Thank you. We've now got loads more logistics points so I can start selling into many more countries. Who actually should I target here? I might as well target the guys who are most annoying. So that's Afari and Dator. That's kind of pinky and orange. Uh, so what have we got here? How big a country? Oh, South American countries. Oh, brutal have lost out in Belize. Never mind. And okay, which of these are the biggest? Uh, Honduras is quite large. What do they like? They like quality. I got loads of quality. We'll go into Honduras. Put a point in there. Uh, somewhere else over here in... These countries are all very expensive to sell into. So I'll, I'll leave those for the moment. Iceland. Oh, you're quite cheap, but very tiny. Greenland is even tinier. I don't know, these African countries. Fairly big populations, but very poor. South Sudan, Gabon, Namibia. 
Uh, Zimbabwe. Ooh, Madagascar. Yeah, let's go to Madagascar, shall we? We'll go in there. That's cool. I think another African country will do. Uh, Namibia or Botswana. Cameroon. Yeah, another lovely big country. We'll sell into there. And I'm back down to 1.5. Oh, I'm losing money. Or oh, is that because my factory is now trying to keep up with stocking my warehouses? Or has someone released a new computer? Your building upgrade has completed. That's oh, I'm back in the money. Oh, that might have been the marketing costs. Yeah, adding the extra the extra consumers to my to my market obviously impacted my marketing costs. Uh, so we've got one more point left to spend. I'm going to go into Sudan. There we go. Nobody else has got any new computers out, have they? No. Oh, hang on. So, did something happen then? I thought I noticed some. Afghanistan has become communist. Ah, I had a suspicion it would. Yeah, so that is no longer a country I can sell into, which is why I've been, which is why I was avoiding it. So whoever was selling there has now lost that market. Crying shame. So what have we got here? Logistics. Have we got uh, all South Africa? You, I Your can, new computer model is polished. I can add logistics into South Africa. My new computer is ready to go. I can increase logistics here in uh, in Taiwan. Got a level three office. That's all looking good. Right, so let's have a look at our new computer. And nobody else is. Gosh, this is terrible, isn't it? <laughs> nobody else has got anything else on the market. Um, it's going to be, oh, I'm about, I'm just under halfway through to getting the new game. That's, that's fine. I think so. We might as well release this little beauty. How does it compare to the old one? Yeah, rather nicely indeed. So we will market you. That's good. How many customers are we going to get straight off the bat? Ooh, only 8,000. That's a little disappointing, actually. A little disappointing. But there you go. Reviews. Yeah, they're all the same. They've always been the same. <laughs> yeah, my marketing expenses hasn't gone up that much, considering the amount of new customers I have. Oh, I've got two machines on the market. That's why it's so, so high. So I need to take Prodec, uh, my, first, my previous computer, off the market. So we'll archive you. Which means my marketing costs are reduced. Excellent. Why am I losing money? Possible. Your building upgrade has completed. Ah, that's the extra logistics. Your building upgrade has completed. Logistics space I've got, so my factories have burst back into life to fill that warehouse. We have got time sharing, which is a new operating system technology. So we will copy you. Oh, and Carlos Mysterioso has leveled up. Excellent news. So we'll add time sharing to this. So what will that do? Ooh, features and ease of use. That's nice. Uh, oh, it's a lot more expensive now though. 5.52. Uh, oh, that is quite an expensive technology. But that's okay, I think. I'm still making money, so I'm okay with that. And we'll just call it OS 78. Um, because all my software now comes with the game and the backup software, so that's nothing unusual. We'll leave that there, ready to go. Oh, Carlos Mysterioso, you've leveled up. You're my logistics man, aren't you? So what have we got here? More logistics. I think that would be handy. Well, I've got seven and a half logistics points to spend. Cool. Or espionage. I'm going to go logistics for the moment, I think. A sort of feeling, um, what a, Logan, that's your name, isn't it? Here, no, you're not good at espionage. Oh, it's is anybody here good at espionage? Oh, no, it's it is uh, Carlos Mysterioso. Logically enough, obviously, why would he have a name like Mysterioso if you weren't good at uh, espionage? So, we might start bumping that up at some point if we don't get another uh, espionage focused manager. Right, I have got loads of new. Let's go back to the world because I just love seeing how green it is. 
That is awesome. Uh, so I've now got seven and a half logistics points to spend. Where can we put those? Uh, Sweden, Ivory Coast, Belgium. We'll we'll go to we'll go to the Netherlands. We'll go to the Netherlands. It is pricey, but you know they they deserve it. I think to have some really good computers for a change. Uh, Austria, not surprisingly expensive. Syria is expensive. Sweden. Okay, we'll go to the Ivory Coast as well. There you go. And we're back in profit. Excellent. We should have the Netherlands quite soon. Oh, and Massive Modules have released a new computer. It took They took their time, did they not? And I've learned something new about marketing. So let's have a quick check of that first. Marketing here... Uh, oh, billboards. They're important when I'm doing a medium campaign for casuals. Okay, bear that in mind. That's good. So, massive modules. That's you, isn't it? Again, you're all in all a bit rubbish. And you're still using the old video display, the glass teletype. Whereas I've got, as we saw, a composite monitor. I.e. you can use your own telly. <laughs> my computers that is lovely oh other people are releasing new computers um, no they're not really competing oh brutal has released a new one excellent let's get rid of some of these others so i can focus on him in particular so how are you doing sir um Bit pants really still no graphics card nor removable media no accessories you're just selling it on price aren't you that is all you're doing that's unbelievable a motherboard with <laughs> s100 still that is shocking is there anywhere poor that we can go to as opposed to poverty that's got a reasonable population no not really Oh, we've got a publishing deal. Okay, we've got a new uh, game. I found some developers working on this new title. How much freedom and money would you like to add them? Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Again, I think that's a little bit of grammatical tweaking required there. I, I, I gave the last bunch high freedom. And we went for... I can, aff I can afford four million. That could give me 216 feature points. We'll go du just double A, I think, and that will take, that's going to take a whole year. I, am I good with that? Yeah, I, I think so. I think so. So we will start this. Good. Excellent. But you are still, you're working on that, aren't you? Yes, you're publishing that, that game with them. So you're going to be busy for another year. That's fine. That's okay. Forsher have got all these rich countries in Europe. So how are you doing? Uh, was I looking at you? Well, you're Forsher, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's not a bad machine. You've actually got a graphics card. <laughs> and a couple of accessories. What's your operating system look like? Still obs yeah, using operating system code, and they've got a game, but notice how they've pushed their features and ease of use right down to save costs. Yeah. How can they sell that in these rich countries? I don't know. I do not know. Okay, then. Shall I have a go at some of these big countries? Let's go to the UK. Let's do that. We'll put, uh, if I put, yeah, that just cuts the reseller cut. We don't want to do that. We'll just put one point in there, into the UK. Where else? Namibia, Botswana, Zimbabwe. I'm not sure. That's what I'm worried about Zimbabwe going communist or something, or doing a Mugabe. Malawi, I think we should be fairly safe there. That's good. I'm uh, still making good money. I'm up to 84% of the global sale. Oh, I've got the UK. This is excellent work. This is really good. 
over 84% of the market. Which of these South American countries can we go to? Oh, Haiti is quite populous. We can go there, I think. There we go. This is all very nice indeed. You have researched a new technology. Okay, let's have a look at our research tree. We haven't done a lot of that for a few minutes. So let's have a look at the queue. What have we got coming up here? Oh, the EEPROM has become quite cheap. Excellent, so we'll do that. That gives us features. Uh, a monochrome CRT. That would be good. Yeah, we can do you now. I need to add it. Click the add and then it does it. That's right. Uh, trackballs, MIDI, power adapters. Yeah, you're for portable devices. We haven't even got to PCs yet. So. <laughs> Actually, looking at that, what do we need for PCs that we don't have? We haven't got the five and a quarter inch floppy. Uh, okay, for that we're going to need the five and a quarter inch disc bay. But yeah, I think we can have the hard drive. We could do with that. Yeah, because that will give us extra capacity as well for our machines. Yeah, I th think we'll leave them in that order for the time being. Again, I can change this as and when I need to. Let's have a look at our buildings. Do we need to upgrade anything in here? My logistics, we're looking at logistics, weren't we? Is I've still got a couple on two. Level two, where are you? Oh, just South Africa. Oh, you're my brand new one, aren't you? Uh, so let's upgrade the office there. That's good. And then I can upgrade the logistics office there. And that will give me get more points. This is good. Should I go into Ireland? I might as well. I've got I've got a big research site there. So we might as well go into Ireland. That's that done. You see, we're, with eight research points, we're getting through our research quite nicely now, quite quickly. Now, yeah, we've got the whole Your of building upgrade the has British completed. Isles. We've got EEPROM. Right, so what I'm going to do is, I think that is quite a nice little bunch of research. We've got time sharing, which we did just a moment ago, a new operating system. We've got TV interface adapter, which gives me something down here. There it is. That gives me performance, just performance. That's just on the video card. And we've also got the EEPROM, which is handy. Again, just a motherboard option. Gives me another feature set boost. Mm. Is there anything else we can add here? We, we're, we are focusing a lot on features at the moment, aren't we? Oh, the ROM. Oh, I'm getting the ROM next. Good, that'll give me a nice performance boost. That will be excellent, actually. Yeah, so I'm happy with that uh, that schedule for my research. And I'm more than happy with my global coverage. Rapidly approaching 85% of the global market. Are you going to make it before I end this episode? Uh, you probably will if I include another country. What about... Uh, what are you? Papua New Guinea? Let's go there, shall we? 84 point, we're at 85% of the global market. That is excellent. Yeah, nothing much has changed down here, I think. So we're going to leave that for the time being. So thank you very much for joining me for this episode of Computer Tycoon. If you've enjoyed this, it'd be great to hear from you. A little bit of a like would be lovely. Even better, if you've got any thoughts on what I'm doing with the game or the game itself, anything you feel like saying, please do just drop a note into the comments box below. That would be awesome. And of course, if you've not already subscribed to the channel, you could do that now. And that way you'll know when I upload another one of these or any of my other Let's Play series. But from me, Ajax Post, here in Computer Tycoon, until the next time, bye bye for now.